Here is an example of a performance management meeting. We are in the procurement department in a production company. It is of no importance who says what, as long as everyone is active, even the silent fury advocates. It is important for the team spirit and the individual's energy level that everyone attends the dialogue. The example takes you through all three sections in the whiteboard. But remember that you cannot do all in one meeting, and in this example, the manager does not have time to dig into important matters like personal learning goals, learn from a particular success, celebrate achievements, discuss needed support for the ongoing activities, and much more. You need to make a choice each morning for what is most important to focus on in your 15 minutes with the team. Ask the team too for what is more important for them. Sometimes they know better and sometimes you know better. As you all know, we have three focus areas at the moment. We have stock turnover time, credit time and number of cases handled per day. I can see from the results that we have improved our time in stock for 0.1%, which brings us at 0.05% above target this week. Really great. At the same time, we have improved our credit time from an average of 33 days to 34 days this month. So tell me, what's the reason for all these achievements? We have had some tough negotiations that turned out fine and where we have stuck to the standard credit time. It has really helped that we have standards now that we have to keep. When we say that to the vendors, they give in and stock turnover time is reduced after having the new estimations from the product department. These new estimations gave us the time to adjust immediately. Well done! We still have a challenge regarding our goal for number of handled cases per day. We are at 167 and with a goal of 180 in average per day. We have had a slight increase from 166 during the week and 167 yesterday. And last month's result was 155. How did we manage to do the 167? We have removed waste by agreeing with Britt and Karen to stop the extra control. At the same time, we've had some challenges regarding the coordination of the new Q cases cross teams. The responsibility has not yet been sorted out. It seems like we've had some progress and that there are a lot of possibilities for improvements when it comes to more clear roles and responsibilities. Am I right? Yes, that's right. All in all, a good result from yesterday. How can we use what has been successful for us in the future? We can keep on sticking to our standard credit times. Good. And what new ideas do we have when looking at the results? That we need regular estimations from the production department to be able to adjust our stock. What successes or ideas have others had that can be helpful for us? The transportation department have asked us whether we can collect orders for two days at a time from the company Seabird. This way they can fill a truck and collect the goods themselves instead of getting the goods sent to us. So we can decrease delays and calculate the stock even better. Great idea! Write a post-it for the whiteboard and let's have a look at it in a minute. Let's first find out how we can get even more estimations from the production department to close that option. We can put it on the board as an idea and then work more with what kind of estimations we want. We can then send our requests from there. That sounds good. What kind of support do we need to stick to the standard credit times? I think we should discuss some of the difficult conversations every morning to learn from each other. Agreed. Let's do that then. And given that we are getting comfortable and successful with the standard credit times, where are we headed when it comes to the results? I believe that we can reach an average of 40 days within the next two months. That sounds great. 
We now have three ideas from today. What more ideas have been put up on the whiteboard? I have an idea on how to archive our completed cases. I believe we can fill the box per week and then remove it. That means we do not have a lot of boxes taking up space in the office and we do not have to waste time on trying to find the right box for our output. It is very seldom that we have to find a case once it is filed. I vote for that idea. And I also have a couple of other ideas on how we can socialize more. I think we do it too little. Great that you think of that part too. Let's prioritize the ideas. Which of them will benefit the customers directly? The one with collecting orders for two days at a time, because it will mean a lower price for transportation and could contribute to a lower cost for the customer. If we can manage to control our stock in a clever way, of course. At the same time, the customers will not discover delays. The one with the output box can save time and give us more time to serve the production department and thereby the customers. Sounds right. Should we take these two ideas into reality immediately? Yes, they're easy to implement. How many more should we look at today? I think we should listen to the two suggestions with social activity and see if we can do something right away or if we have to get back to them later. Okay. Which of the remaining ideas that we haven't yet prioritized should we prioritize as urgent now? I think the rest can wait. They're not urgent. Any objections? No. Who wants to be the driver on the output idea? I can do that. And what can we expect you to do? I will establish a new box for this week and archive the rest. At the same time, I'll make a suggestion for roles and responsibilities. You'll have that by the end of the day. Any comments on that? Sounds fine. Who wants to be the driver on the transportation idea? I can take that. I need to talk to the transportation department anyway. And what can we expect you to do? A suggestion for a standard operating procedure. Any other opinion on that? I think you should ask them if there are other companies where we can do the same. Maybe we can collect orders from two companies to fill a truck. Good thinking. What will it mean for us given that we implement these two ideas? That we save time and money. On a scale from 1 to 10, where 10 is the highest, how important is the implementation of these ideas? I would say 8, because it's to the benefit of our customers. And what is between 8 and 10? that it has the planned effect. Let's hope for that. Let's hear the two suggestions on social activities. Yes, that sounds exciting. My first suggestion is that we plan a Christmas get-together with our families. The second suggestion is that we clean up in the kitchen, so it's nice to be here. It sounds like two good suggestions. And I think that we should talk about them on Friday at our one-hour meeting. Is that okay? Yeah, that's okay. Which of the activities in our pipeline has been implemented during last week? Well, we're done with the suggestion test, so that can be removed. And we're done with the two next activities. We just need the final deal. It's ready next week. And how far are the other activities? We have three half finished and two just started. With the one that is implemented now, we have done 35 improvements this year. With five more, it's celebration time. Thanks, Elena, for finishing the test activity. What will be our success criteria for the coming period? To implement two suggestions per week. That sounds very satisfying. And we already have two more in the pipeline from today. What do you say? Great. I, for one, am looking forward to celebrate. How satisfied are you given that we reach our goals of 40 implemented activities? I'm on a line. And what is between 9 and 10? that we discuss the two suggestions for social activities on Friday. That's a deal. I will take this opportunity too to tell you that we have the company's financial results coming up later today. So please read the headlines and let's discuss our reflections tomorrow morning. How satisfied are you with the meeting today? That we have started two more suggestions. What can be improved in the future? That we start on time. Is that a deal? Yes, that's a deal.